Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and it's been a moment. In this video, I want to show some applications of find and replace. Control F, Control H. Okay, so let's get into it. First example, this I employ using my fictitious Excel company, and if you look properly, you would notice that um, some of them have ages of what zero, which I would say I obviously mistakes. So I did employ any zero year old to do anything in my Excel company. So my HR manager says to me, oh, Victor, these zeros here are supposed to be 35. Okay. So simply enough, what do I do? A find and replace. I can just do control H, right? That brings up, you know, the find and replace, but the replace is what's active. If you do control F, then find is active. I could just say find what zero and replace it with 35. That's simple. And I do replace. Okay. Now, what happens? You notice that I have 435, 335, 435. Okay, so every zero was replaced with 35. But ideally, all we want to do is we want to replace only cells that have zero, only zero in that cell, not just any zero. So we need to make some adjustments into our find and replace. Okay, so let me go back to Control H and show you an option that most people never use. Or hardly ever go to because we don't get to expand the find and replace window. So once you click options here, okay, you would see match entire cell content. So once you say match entire cell content, what this means is that I'm only going to replace cells where zero is the only thing I have in those cells. So any cell that doesn't have only zero, I'm not going to replace anything there. I'm going to skip it, okay? So this check box as in does all the magic. So do replace all and see what happens. See, it only replaces cells that had only zero because you said you should what? Match entire cell content. Okay, so that's how you fix that. Okay, let's get out of this into the next example. Now, this is just a simple one I decided to include, which is if you want to do a case sensitive find and replace. Okay, so now if you look at the names here, right you have and this does happen in reality right where there are some names that could be surnames for some people but first name for some other people so for example ahmed ahmed could be a first name ahmed could be somebody's you know surname too you even have some people who be ahmed ahmed <laughs> okay so what i've just done here is the names are in lower case like the proper case you know and then the surnames are in upper case so what if i wanted to replace all ahmed's that's ahmed first name with say another name like um let's just change it to what mm, sam okay let's change all the ahmeds to sam now you notice that you have an ahmed here okay you also have an ahmed here that is a surname so if you replace you know ahmed just like that you would get you know some of them replaced that you don't want them to be replaced so let's let's see what we do here so we do control h same thing so here i'm going to say replace ahmed okay with sam okay now, how do I ensure that it only replaces Ahmed's that are first names and it leaves this Ahmed as a surname and in uppercase, you know, leaves it as is? So I go to options and then you see another option here, which is match case. Okay. Once you say match case, it means it's going to look for the case exactly as you've written it. So since I wrote it with a capital A, that's exactly what's going to find. So I'm going to do match case. And then I do replace all. If you do this, it's only going to replace, you know, um, Ahmed's that match the case that you've put in the find window here. Okay, so replace all. And you can see what happens, right? So this becomes Sam. This becomes Sam. But Ahmed itself in caps isn't, you know, changed because it doesn't match the case in here. So you can do a case sensitive find and replace. Okay, so let me uncheck that. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, this one is an interesting one. This is just um, using wildcards in find and replace. Okay, so let's assume I wanted to do like um, a text to column, split this into first names and last names. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to replicate this data here. Okay, uh, let's expand this. Okay, all right. So what I want to do is I want to leave just the first names here and the last names in the uh, in the next column and i'm going to use find and replace for this so i'm going to select the entire data here control shift down i'm going to do control h okay so now 
how do I do this? I want to keep just the first name, you know, and take out pretty much the space and the last name. So you can use wildcards. You know that when you use asterisk, it means you are looking for multiple characters, right? So what you notice is that if you tell it to find space and asterisk, what it's going to do, it means it's going to find any cell where you have a space and any number of characters following. So that's the meaning of space asterisk. So I can say space asterisk, replace that with nothing. So meaning that if, if I say find space asterisk, in this John Stone, it's going to see the space. Everything to the right, which is stone, becomes the asterisk. So it's going to take out that space asterisk and it's going to leave me with just John. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to replace, you know, space asterisk with what? Nothing. So I'm going to do replace all. Okay? And you see that I have only the names. Okay? Because find a space and asterisk will find that space and every character to the right. Now we're going to do... The reverse of this control shift down you know in this case what do we want to do we want to keep what the last names and we want to get rid of what the first name and the space so the first name we don't know how many characters so we can represent it with an asterisk star and space so meaning as many characters as it could be to a space so in this case it's going to see john and space here it's going to see james and the space and we're going to replace it with nothing and i'll say replace all Okay, and we're done. Okay, so you could also use find and replace for a pseudo text to columns. Okay, but that's just using wildcats. Okay, and now to the last example, which is my personal favorite. Okay, we've been doing a find and replace by looking for text values or string values or numbers, but now we are going to be looking for cells based on their format, not necessarily the values in the cell. So someone sent this data to me has some cells that have a yellow feel with red font, okay? And the person says, oh, Victor, I don't like, you know, this formatting. I want you to change it to have a red feel with a white font, red feel with a white font. There isn't any logic to it, so I really can't maybe use a conditional formatting and change that to get me what I want. So I'm just going to go, you know, the find and replace route. If it was one column, I could maybe do a filter and then, you know, change the formatting for visible cells. But here I'm going to do a find and replace based on the format. So control H. Once you click the options and it expands, you can see that you don't only find based on, you know, the value itself. You can also find based on the format. If you have a cell that has the format you want, you can just pick that cell. So you can go to format and say, choose format from cell. Okay. And then you choose this cell, right? Now you have to be very careful. Because it's only going to find cells that exactly as in have same format with the cell that has been chosen. Okay? So the formats have to be exact. So something as simple as say, if this had an outer border, like a thick outer border, <laughs> then it may not find what you have in column G, you know, for example. Well, you could also decide that if you don't want to use the format as a whole, you could actually, instead of choosing format from cell, you could do format and make sure that you select only you know yellow fill and red font so that way you may be covered so for the replace now I've, I've chosen you know the find so you can see the preview for the replace i don't have a cell that has the formatting i want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do that myself i'm going to go to format and i'm going to go to fill under fill i'm going to say i want it to have a red fill and under font i want it to have what a white font okay so this is what it's going to look like. So find this and replace this. So this is just a formatting, find and replace. No text values involved. So let's do replace all and see. So replace all and you see it replaces all of them. So you can actually find with a format and you can replace with another format. But like I said, you know, they must be exact. If they're not exact, if there's just a slight change, even if it's in the number formatting, you know, it could result in you not finding you know those cells okay so that's really what i thought to share you know just some quick uses of find and replace how you can you know match cell content to make sure you are looking for everything in that cell and replacing it how you can do a case sensitive find and replace how you can use wildcards in find and replace and lastly how you can find and replace based on what the formatting so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please click the like button more importantly, subscribe to the channel Excel Moments and, you know, share 
with your friends. For now, I'm out.